if the total cost of X apple is B cents, why is the general for, general formula for the cost of um, Y apple in terms of cents? Let me show you guys an example to help us understand what's going on and how we write out the general formulas. So again, this is just my examples that's going to help us to understand what's going on. The difficult part in algebra is you are dealing with variables. So to help us understand what's going on, let's use some concrete numbers. All right. So let's say um, if I have four apples and it cost, um, let's say, 320 cents. Okay, and what's the formula? How much it will be if I want to buy? How to say? How much will it be if I want? Let's say uh, seven apples. Okay. So let's see how do we do this. And again, I'm going to ignore the question for now. I'm just going to look at this question. So. Four apples cost 320 cents. One apple is what? How do you figure out um, the cost of each apple? You will just think that um, 80 cents, right? You can just do that on top of your head. But uh, to think about the operation. Sometimes I know it's, um, the example is very easy to understand because it's like daily life. But really think about what operation did you actually do? You get 80, it's because you do 320 divided by four. So one apple is going to be 320. And again, the division symbol, it's you just kind of say bye bye to the division symbol. We'll be using fractions. Okay? 320 over 4. So that's the 80 cents that we get. And I want to know how much will it be if I want a total of seven apples. Well, each apple is 80 cents. I just need to multiply by 7, right? So to find out 7 apples, all I need to do is multiply by 7 times this. 320 over 4. And that's exactly what we do for 7 times 80, which gives you the 560 cents. $5.60. That's my multiplication. And I use the dot right here is for multiplication, all right? Uh, because later um, in algebra, you will use a lot of axes, so um, usually you can just use dots for multiplication. So let's get back to this question, the real deal. So for 10, he says that we have x apples is um, b cents. So let me write this down. Um, x apples cost B cents. So here, just by looking at this, how much does each apple cost? So as you can kind of see that the X exactly match with the 4 and the B match with the 32. So to figure out how much each apple costs, one apple will cost, you take B, the total um, cost, which is B, just like the 320 right here. Divide by x. One apple cost b over x. b over x cents. And the question we want is, uh, I want to write a formula if I want a total of y apples. So, how much will it be if I want y apples? Y Again, we're just dealing with variables, but it's okay. It's, it's pretty much the same operations that we're doing right here. Once we figure out one apple is b over x, so one apple is like 320 over 4, right? the one that we did earlier. To figure out y apples, y apples, we just need to multiply by y, right? Because just like this one right here, once you figure out the one apple, to figure out seven apples, you just multiply by seven, seven times whatever this expression is. So one apple is b over x. Let me write that down first. 
I just need to multiply by y. That will give us the total cost. So put a y right next to it. That indicates that they are multiplying. Then that's pretty much it. Okay, y times b over x will be the cost of y apples. So the answer to this is y times b over x. But let me take a look of the question uh, of the answer choices. So I have b over x y, x over b y, x y over b, b y over x, b x over y. Okay, so it looks kind of different than what we have right here. When you have y times b over x, you can put the y on the top. So that's the thing. You can put the y on the top. So y b over x. So maybe that will be the answer. Let me see. Uh, I need to look for b y y b and if you take a look of the answer choice d. Let me just show you like this. So the answers that we got is y b and notice in choice b in choice d we have b y over x and you can switch the order of uh, you can switch the order of multiplication so I think the answer they want us to do b y over x they want us to, to to do it like this it's okay just switch the uh, y and b that's how we get answer choice d okay answer choice d.